glad we met. <laughs> we are doing something so important today. We're talking about terrible and then hot wire. We know that we can create single page applications with React, Angular, Vue, but do you know that we can do the same thing with Ruby on Rails? And that is possible because of Turbo. With Turbo, um, we can create the same effect like Ruby, um, JavaScript, how JavaScript creates single page applications. And then if you come to the Turbo documentation, they are saying that um, it allows us to create modern, fast, progressive web applications without the need to write any JavaScript at all. So let's dive deep into this and then see how we can implement this. Now, one thing we should know is that um, row seven by default come with, comes as a single page application. It means that only um, the content of the page keep changing whilst we are navigating from page to page. But the um, asset files, the style, the JavaScript files, they are never changed. We can go from scratch and create a new Rails application, right? But I think I don't want to waste your time. So I created this template, Ruby on Rails auth template on my LinkedIn GitHub profile. And then you can go ahead and just create a new report for me. Now, what does it has? It has authentication, set up with device gem. It has testing set up with RSP. It has linter set up. Then it has a great um, readme file you can use for any Ruby on Rails application. So that's what I'm using. Just go ahead and create a repository for me and then give it a name, a description, and then you can clone it and start working for me. So that's what I've done over here. And then it's just nothing. It just, um, just the default Rails application. And I just added um, an article scaffold and some few stars. And then this is what we got. Great, this is what we got. So this um navbar and then the authentication is coming from the um staff um the template I created and then you can go ahead and use it. This is just the basic um articles. You click on new, you create a new article, then when you click click on a new article, right, it goes to the article index page, right? And then when you click on edit, it goes to the edit page, you can update it, and then you can delete it, it goes back to this page and then you can delete. So nothing, nothing here, nothing for this, right? So if you can create something like this from flat, you don't need to download my whole template. We are good to do it from here. Just don't want to waste your time. So the first thing we like to do is that when we click on this link, as we should we said, we don't want to go to the new, like the new page, but we like that new form to come here. Then how do we do that? There's some principle in Turbo that says that if you want to click on this link and replace by something, then wrap both around a table frame tag and then give them the same ID. Sounds confusing. Let's do this. So, um, sorry to say, but the styles, I just added them. It's just nothing. I think you've seen that. I just some DC styles. So, um, first of all, let me show you the styles, right? So this is just the styles, left and right and some container at the moment. So this is what we're seeing. When we click on this link, then it turn this side by side here. And then this is the new form, right? Great. So when we click on this link, we like to replace by this form. So table is seeing that wrap both around table frame tag and give both the same ID. And then let's do this. So it just this. Great. So this has been wrapped around the table frame tag. And this is just the ID. And then we wrap the second link. Whatever we like to replace that with around the C with the same table uh with the same ID around a table frame tag with the same ID right? and that is all we need to do. Now if we should inspect the page let's inspect and see what happens. If you look at a table documentation you see that it normally just do table frame tag. Right? I don't know if you can see this so we wrap the thing around the table frame tag and give it an ID. This is what we did. And then when we click on it, let's look at what happened. When we click on it, you see that it got replaced by this form. And you can see that now this is what we have. I'm sorry. My thing is perfect. So it got replaced by this form. All right. So this is all we did. We just give both, wrap both around the table frame tag and give both an ID. You can go with this way. 
or like um, let me show you what the rules documentation the yeah, documentation that yeah can you see this they also did it this way so anyone um table frame drive anyone to work yeah. but um the same principle says that if you give this um um an id right if you wrap a, a link around an id and there's no other link no other link that matches that id then it will throw an error that error is going to be template missing so let's just make um let's just make just one or something here. You see, first link one has no, uh, there's no, nothing like this link in our pro application. So if you refresh our page and then we click on this link, then it's going to just tell us that, um, template is missing or content is missing because table is expecting, um, a link to have the same ID. So just put that in like, that. All right. And then after this, I think, um, we can do the same thing for this form. When we click on this, instead of going to the edit page, we like to replace this edit page with that edit form. So what do you think? Let's go here. Um, I'm gonna, all right, don't worry. Let's go to the article. I think we know that this each article is coming from the single article page, so. We wrap the seam like the whole thing. All right. And then what ID will be like, let me open this guy. Cool. So what do you think is going to be common between this, uh, the edit page and then the article, specific article in this page? It's going to be that article object, right? So the ID can be just a string or it can be an object. It can be anything you want. So. Let's wrap this around uh, this article. Great. So we wrap this around the table frame tag, give it an ID of article. So you're going to be the article object and we can save and then let's do the same thing for this edit. All right. We like to only replace the form, not the edit, whatever, whatever. Great. Now we have article here, but we know that on this page, we don't have article because of how we define it in the controller. We are going to make it as article. That is it. I think we understand it. So both have been wrapped around table frame tag, but the ID is the same. It's just going to be that object, that actual object that is coming. And then let's refresh the page. And then we can we click on it, it got updated, right? So let's inspect and see what happens behind the scenes. Now can you see that each um, object has been wrapped around table frame tag with the ID of the article ID, article ID, article ID. Can you see this? Yeah. So article 11, article 10, article 9, and these are coming from this specific article, right? So whenever we click on it, it get replaced, right? It get replaced with the ID that we click on. And then if you should update it, it just don't go anywhere. It just stays on the same page, right? So it just stays on the same page. And this is table for you. Now, maybe you like to ask the question that, all right, what if I make this a link, all right? So we want to go to the details page. Is that going to link to specifically in the link will just go to this edit page? The question is no. The answer is no, sorry, because look, over here, we are wrapping this around a table frame tag, give it an ID of article, that article object. And then this link is going to the, is going to the article, um, edit page. And then it is having the same ID as this table frame tag. That is why it is going there. So, not, if we make this a link, it is not going there, right? It is not going to go directly to um, it's not going to be uh, um, replaced by this form, no, no, but because this uh, is going to this page, that edit page, and that edit page is having the same ID as this table frame tag, that's why it is being really replaced. Like to link this guy to the um, in the uh, details page, and let's see what 
is going to happen. So let's just go and do link um, to article, then let's say article. Um, there's one thing about table, like this link should by default work. Let's refresh the page and see what happens. If I should, I should hover over this. Can you see down here? It is going to the articles like that article ID, right? But when I click on it, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. Wow. Well, we are not having any error in the console, but it doesn't go anywhere. And that also talks about another principle in Turbo. If we wrap anything around the table frame tag, like any like um content, some content inside a table frame tag, then each link in that table frame tag should have some data table attribute. You have some table attribute, right? Great. This guy here, we can wrap it around table frame tag because table frame tag is the big object. So what we do is that they have a special object called top. Right, so we see we give it a table data attribute, table data attribute, and then give it a table frame. And then this table frame is going to be what we would like to do is that when we click on this link, we like to replace the whole page, right? The whole page with whatever link this guy is linking to. So what we do is that we just call the underscore top. So it just table frame tag given to this link and then it is going to what link what id is just going to be replaced just replace the whole piece it's just going to replace this piece right and then great so when we click on this now you see it got replaced right initially it wasn't going anywhere but because of that top um keyword that we use now it is replacing the whole piece we've not given this We've not given the um, delete any table frame tag or any table frame attribute. So let's look at what happens if I should click on the delete button. So if I click on delete, you see it threw an error. And this is error is saying that it has no table frame attribute associated with it. So we can go ahead and do the same thing that we did for this. So because if we click on this link, just replace the whole piece. Right, just repeat. So, um, and then uh, let's refresh the page and see. All right, so let's do this. Can you see that now it is working perfectly fine? Because we added um, the table attribute to it. So this is working. But then we can extend this more. Because if you look at this, um, let me try seeding some data. Um, now, I have some data inside this um, project. Perfect. So, I want to do some testing to tell you to something. When we click on delete, fine, it works fine. But then the page is refreshed. And then in single page applications, like what we normally see in. Um, um, Social media apps, it doesn't do that. Like, let's look, show you that it get refreshed. So, when I click on these two links and I click delete, you see those edit form that I had opened, they just go away because the pages were fresh, right? We don't want that attribute. We don't want that. And then, how do we handle that? Uh, there's something in the documentation I'd like to show you. All right, so, great. Um, delete, great. Can you see this? I'm just going to um, do this. All right, so let me copy this guy. So all he's saying is that instead of responding with HTML, we are going to respond with table stream, right? And it's just going to remove that specific article or yeah, from the frame. Everything else remains untyped. This is what this line is doing. Let's just go to our controller so this is just the controller the destroy action and then this is the changes they are making let's go and make that changes in the controller and see what happened so i'm going to then um instead of format the html i don't care we can take it off 
we can let's just leave it there. So this is just going to be a picture frame. So um, all we're saying is that uh, when we delete, we should just remove that specific frame from there without um, uh, touching any other thing. Right. So I'm not going to open this guy here and then delete. Can you see this? The forms are untapped. The forms are untapped, right? And then we can just click delete. The forms are still untapped. And all this is coming from just this motion that we did. Can you imagine that? And this is the power of table drive. Right? So we've been able to do a lot like, um, edit, update, delete. Everything is working fine. Right. Now, there's the last one that we'd like to talk about. Like, we didn't finish on this. Can you see that? We didn't finish on this. Because when we create a new article, a new article, like, the form get missing. And we get an error. So there's a lot into it. And then we like to do. So what I like to do is that, um, let's go back again. When we click on this um, link. Instead of this link going away, we like to introduce some new feature. Instead of this link going away, we like the form to come down here. All right, the form should come over here. The this link should not go away. Then when we click on that, um, we submit the link like the form. We don't want to refresh the page before we see what we just created. So how do we do that? There's a lot. Please don't get frustrated. Because it's just something new that we all learn. So let's go to the index page and then, and then do. Um, I think we need to change this slightly, right? Slightly. Instead of wrapping this around a table frame tag, we like we like to do something. So all we are seeing is that when we click on this link, just as we did for the article index page, we are giving it a data attribute, and this data attribute should have a DOM ID and then that is going to article new. Right. So let's refresh the page. And then we should go to the that form. So let's go to the form. The new form should be here. And then what should we do around the new form? We give it the same ID. So that ID is going to be article new instead of first link. We just try where this See if it works. So it's going to be the article, just yes, the article, the new article that we are going to create. So we give it a DOM ID. It's going to article new, right? So let's just refresh the page and see what happens. It's just going to have the same like feature that we were having, uh, but there's something small that we like to. So it goes to a new page, but we don't want it to go to a new page. When we click on it, we like to give it an ID on the same page. So that it, it just remains on that page, and then that is uh, the new magic I would like to show you. Let me just copy real quick. Right. Great. So on that same page, and this table frame tag has an empty, like it's empty, and then we are giving it the same ID. And then all we're saying is that when we click on this article new, it should find this um this form. But where do we want to render the form? Not on a new page, but on the same page. Remember that what we did for the um, edit was that when we click on this, it get replaced, right? But this time we don't want to replace it. We just give given the same thing, that same ID here, like table frame tag, give it a new, like an empty tag. And then uh, let's go back, let's go back. And then refresh our page. If we don't hit any error, it should find a new article and then replace that with this uh, over here. Is this new? Yeah, I <laughs> control what is going as the table thing. Why do I do this? What? Yeah, but in just three steps, give it a data attribute, table data attribute, and a DOM ID. That DOM ID is what we, we, we want to replace that with. Just go into this table thing tag. And then where do we want to render that? Like to render it here. But then still, if we should create something, it's going to say temp um, content means missing. 
this link is inside a de um, data table frame tag, right? So any link inside a table frame tag should have some table attributes, right? So that's why if we don't tell this link that after submitting, where do you go? It is just going to throw an error. And um, let's look at the table documentation. Yeah, this is, um, sorry. Right, great. So this is what they are doing. And then they are doing this nice thing here. So let's go ahead and just try and see what they did and then if we can learn something from it. All right, so how do we handle this? All right, now this is something new and then we're, we are just all in. So <laughs> don't worry if it sounds confusing. So all we do is that over here, like there are several ways we could go about handling this, but um, this is what I've just named. Over here, we need to create uh, another, like, um, like, another view dot table. Um, your table stream dot er. Cool. So all we are doing is that it's just the same thing. Um, if you go to the table documentation, it's just the same thing. So after create, this is what they are doing. After create, we are just um, rendering a table stream and then um, with this partial. All we're doing is that after creating, we like to pre-append to the articles. Now, articles means that we need to give like this an ID, like pre-append. This is just the ID. So, uh, tag. So all we're saying is that, okay, after creating, we like to append it into the articles. That specific article which has been created, just append it into the article, right? And uh, the table frame with that article um, ID, all right? And then from there, what do we do to the um, this form? From there, what do we do? We are, all we are doing is that we just want to make it empty, like delete everything from it. Cool. Then the last one, the last thing that we do is that we go to the controller and then um, you see we are just doing all these over there. So all we go and do is that we are just going to say format the table stream. We just want to add this guy here. Now we can delete this guy. We don't care about them but Format the table stream means that once we create it, we like the format to the table stream. And this table stream will just go to the create table stream. That specific item which has been created will go to this create table stream. And this create table stream will just append what has been created into the, like, that article which has been created into that table stream tag with this article ID right here. And then from there, that form, this form All right so um, it was a lot but i think we made it so let's wrap it let's go over again so that we can get clear first of all um this uh, i think if it would be good if we could order the article so that the last future article can appear. we just add this order so that at least when we create something, right, we see it at the top, like that's what we normally see. So, right, right. So if there are any errors, oh, the errors are going to be here. And then um, let's do this. And then if there are any errors, great. So table stream is just replacing everything, the whole form, yeah, for us. All right, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'll see you once again. Um, yeah. God bless you.